The M2 MacBook Air is the world's best-selling laptop. And according to Apple, the 15-inch MacBook Air is the world's, the world's best 15-inch laptop. laptop. That's quite a claim. I did end up ordering two of them to test them out for developers, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those tests and reviews. I'm actually pretty stoked about the laptop for a number of reasons. One obvious reason is the huge screen. The 15-inch screen is almost as big as this full 16-inch MacBook Pro. If screen size is important to you, as it is to me, this is a killer feature. And the new body is only one millimeter thicker than the 13-inch, which is gonna be pretty unnoticeable. It's so skinny, yet so large. How did Apple accomplish this? Well, they reinforced the body so that it stays firm and it doesn't warp. <laughs> What? So that's actually one of the differences between the 15 inch and the 13 inch model among some of the ones I'm about to mention. But imagine this, the MacBook Air is gonna have more real estate than the 14 inch MacBook Pro, making the 14 inch MacBook Pro even less desirable. I made an entire video about why the 14 inch MacBook Pro is not the best buy and many of you disagreed of course, but I stand by what I said. Besides the screen, what does the new larger size mean for the rest of the package? Performance, battery and audio. As for audio, it's only better than the 13 inch because the 15 will have six speakers now and that provides double the bass of the 13-inch MacBook Air. Double the bass, double the bass, double the bass. It's gonna sound good. I don't know if it's gonna sound as good as the MacBook Pro. We're gonna have to test that out, but we'll see. The speakers are located behind the keyboard and the sound reflects off the display towards the viewer, creating an immersive audio experience. Also, if you remember, the MacBook Air does not have ports for the speaker grill, so uh, it's gonna be interesting to hear that compared to the MacBook Pro. Next is battery. If you're new to Apple Silicon, then you are gonna be blown away by the battery life here. But I think at this point, a lot of us that already have uh, an existing M1 or an M2 machine, we are already used to the long battery life. That's just ridiculous. However, the promised 18 hours on the new 15 inch machine isn't longer than the 13 inch. It's the same. And this is likely due to the larger screen size that needs to be powered. But come on, 18 hours is still 18 hours. You'll be just fine. Finally, let's talk about performance. The M2 chip is a very efficient SoC, that means system on chip, and that's got the CPU, GPU, and memory all integrated. That's what gives us that efficiency and superior performance that we've all come to enjoy from Apple Silicon machines at this point. There's no fan in the 15 inch machine either, just like the 13 inch. So it is gonna be completely silent, but as you might've seen in my test for software developers doing builds and running code, when the machine is really pushed, the 13 inch MacBook Air eventually did throttle. That just means it slows down considerably so the CPU can cool down. Now, if I do insane amounts of compilation over and over and over again with benchmark tests for example yeah we can get it to throttle of course but in real world scenarios it doesn't matter I just took the 13 inch MacBook Air with me on a trip last week as my only machine <laughs> And I have a review coming on that shortly, so stay tuned. Now this new body is gonna be even bigger, so these kinds of concerns will be alleviated because there's gonna be more heat dissipation throughout the body. So overall, I'm pretty stoked to test this thing out. As always, your comments are welcome down below. Let me know what kind of tests you're looking for and we'll get it done. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, folks.